1 Thessalonians 5 16-18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. To all those listening now, let us go to God in prayer. I want you to pray this powerful prayer with me, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to the Lord, our God. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude. We gather in your presence today to offer you the thanks and praise that you alone deserve. You are a good and faithful God, and we acknowledge your hand in every area of our lives. In the moments of joy and in the trials, you have never left us, your love has carried us through it all. And so, we bow in humility and reverence to express our deepest appreciation for all that you have done. Lord, we thank you for the breath in our lungs, for the beating of our hearts, and for the gift of life that we sometimes take for granted. Every new day is a blessing from you. Every morning that we rise, it is a testimony of your sustaining grace. Your word says that your mercies are new every morning, and we have experienced the truth time and time again. When we were weary, you gave us strength. When we were lost, you provided guidance. Thank you, Lord, for every second of life, and for every opportunity to live for you. Father, we cannot express enough gratitude for the greatest gift of all, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his sacrifice on the cross, we have been reconciled to you. We were once separated by sin, but because of Jesus, we now have the gift of eternal life. How can we ever repay you for the love you have shown us in sending your Son to die for our sins? We thank you for the hope we have in Jesus, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the promise of eternal life. Our hearts are full as we remember that we are no longer slaves to sin, but we are free because of the blood of Christ. Lord, you are our provider. You have supplied every need, even when we didn't know how we would make it. You have clothed us, fed us, and given us shelter. Thank you for meeting our physical needs. There have been moments when we doubted, when we didn't know where our next meal would come from or how we would pay our bills, but you made a way. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and you have never let us down. Even in the most difficult of times, you have shown yourself faithful. We thank you for your abundance and for the blessings that you have poured into our lives. Father, we also give you thanks for the people you have placed in our lives. Thank you for our families, our friends, and our loved ones. They are gifts from you. We cherish the relationships that you have blessed us with, and we thank you for the love and support we receive from those around us. Thank you for the moments of laughter, for the shared joys, and for the comfort in times of sorrow. Thank you for those who have stood by us through thick and thin. For every kind word, every prayer, every act of love, we give you thanks. Lord, you are our refuge and fortress. You have shielded us from dangers seen and unseen. There were times when we were unaware of the threats surrounding us, but you kept us safe. Thank you for being our protector. Whether we walk through the darkest valley or face the fiercest storm, you are with us. You command your angels concerning us, and they guard us in all our ways. We thank you for every time you rescued us from harm, for every time you made a way of escape when we felt trapped, and for every moment you filled us with peace in the midst of chaos. Father, we also want to thank you for the challenges we have faced. Though it may seem strange to express gratitude for trials, we know that in every difficulty, you are working. For our good. 
Your word tells us to consider it pure joy when we face trials because they produce perseverance and character in us. Through every hardship, you have strengthened our faith. When we felt weak, you reminded us that your grace is sufficient. When we were tempted to give up, you filled us with the courage to press on. Thank you for refining us through the fire, for making us more like Christ in every situation. Lord, you have been our guide, leading us with wisdom and understanding. There have been times when we were unsure of which path to take, but you never left us without direction. You are the Good Shepherd, and we have trusted you to lead us beside still waters and into green pastures. Thank you for the gentle nudges of the Holy Spirit, for the wisdom you have given us through your word, and for the peace that comes when we walk in your will. Thank you for the clarity you provide in times of confusion and for the counsel you give when we are faced with difficult decisions. Father, we are grateful for the peace you give that surpasses all understanding. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, you have been our source of calm. Thank you for the peace that guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When the storms of life rage around us, your peace keeps us grounded. Thank you for the stillness that comes from knowing you are in control, for the assurance that you are working all things together for our good, and for the quiet confidence we have in your sovereignty. Lord, we thank you for the ways you have grown us spiritually. As we look back over our journey, we see how far you have brought us. You have deepened our faith, stretched our trust, and expanded our understanding of who you are. Thank you for the times of prayer, for the moments of worship, and for the revelation of your word. Thank you for drawing us closer to you, for opening our eyes to see your goodness, and for transforming our hearts to reflect your love. We are not the same as we once were, and for that, we give you all the glory. Father, as we reflect on all that you have done, we also look ahead with hope and expectation. Thank you for the future you have prepared for us. Your plans for us are good, and we trust that you will continue to lead us into the fullness of your purpose. Thank you for the promises that are yet to be fulfilled, for the dreams that are yet to be realized, and for the hope we have in your faithful provision. We know that you are already at work in our future, preparing the way before us, and we are confident that you will complete the good work you have begun in us. Above all, Father, we thank you for being our God. There is no one like you, and we are privileged to be called your children. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are holy, righteous, and full of grace. Thank you for your unchanging nature, for your boundless love, and for your unfailing faithfulness. We are in awe of who you are, and we offer you all the praise, honor, and glory that is due your name. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we pray, Amen.